Let's look at this very important video. Pay attention. On the left side, I have simple data. On the right side, I have a pivot table created of the same data. I'm going to convert this to percentage by saying show values as percentage of column total. Nothing great so far, 25% contribution by every month. Now I'm going to change this February value to 15. Obviously, you can see that if you compare Jan with Feb, the difference is 5, which is in percentage terms around 50% increase over Jan. Now if I refresh the pivot table here, notice that the difference you see here between Jan and Feb is not 50%. In fact, the difference is just 11%. Generally, when we are looking at data like this, there is more chance that you are going to interpret it here rather than here. Why is that so? Because this is very simple data. For every month, there is only one row of data in the raw case. In real life, the raw data will be hundreds or thousands of rows and the only way you are going to interpret the data is through a pivot table. Now this percentage being shown here is accurate but with 100% or the grand total as the benchmark. So what it is showing you is contribution of each month to the total business. From that point of view, Jan is 22% and Feb is 33% and from a contribution perspective in the current situation, the difference between Jan and Feb contribution is 11.11%. So far good. But we extend that to wrongly compare this value with this value and that's where you make a mistake. Now notice, to make it easier to understand, I'm going to drag and drop amount again. Obviously, we know this is going to happen. Now, in real life, this is not done. And even if you do this, this interpretation is going to be more difficult. So let's look at slightly more complex data and see how do we prevent this mistake from happening ever again in your life. In this case, Jan and Feb shown as percentage. This is almost 18. So say 11% difference between Jan and Feb. No. First of all, consciously prevent your mind from doing these comparisons. We have not even seen the raw data here, unlike the previous example. So we should refuse to answer any question comparing any month's absolute value with any other month's absolute value because we have no clue. This is contribution to 100. So the number 7 and 17 is not just affected by the value of Jan and Feb, it is also affected by the values of other months. That is why we have no information about the absolute difference between Jan and Feb right now. The only way to see that is to drag and drop amount without converting it to percentage. Now we know whatever is the actual value of Jan and Feb. Now, I am still not calculating it, but obviously the difference is not 11%, it's much bigger than that. Now, how do we find that out? Let's say I want to compare Jan with Feb. You click inside Jan and then choose show value as difference from. Now, what will that do? That will take Jan as the base value and all other values will be subtracted from it. We wanted it only for Feb, but might as well see it for the rest. So now this is a better, more accurate way of doing it. Obviously, there is no grand total here because this is a comparison between Jan and all other months. Although this is more accurate, it is still difficult to interpret because the numbers are large. So the correct way of looking at this difference is to click on Jan, right click, but this time choose an option called percentage difference from. And now we know that the difference between Jan and Feb is not 11% as it is shown here, but 150%. Now, this is a revelation to most people when I show this. Now they start thinking, I didn't know this and how many decisions I must have taken by misinterpreting the percentage contribution, assuming it was absolute difference. So this is a dangerous thing to do. I have no clue how many people have made this mistake, how often globally for how many years, but at least now stop making this mistake.
and most importantly, share it with everyone else you know as early as possible. This is something which needs to become viral right now. Please help me make the world a more accurate place. Thank you.